Hi guys, this is Anisha and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back after a very very long cause to last video my channel came out I guess 2 or 3 months ago and it was directly now coming. So yeah, welcome back. So today's video is what we've seen and what we're going to do. So yeah, it's going to be a DIY Rakhi dress. This dress has another speciality that it's not DIY but the second thing is that uh, dress मैंने बनाई है इसके मैंने fabric अलग से मैंने कोई purchase नहीं किया है actually last year राखी uh, sorry last year दिवाली में हमें एक uh, bed sheet gift किए थे so मैंने तभी इसे देखा था मैंने तभी बोल दिया था कि मैं इसका dress बनाऊँगी future में and yeah तो थोड़ा time लग गया बनाने में but yeah मैंने ऐसे I guess uh, one या two days में dress complete हो जाएगा so yeah, you can also make this dress that I have made. You can like please watch the tutorial and do let me know in the comment section how you like this video as well as the next video suggestions. So without any further ado, let's begin. So for making the dress, what I am doing is I am using this particular bed sheet. You can use any bed sheet of your choice, or else you can directly use the fabric. It completely depends. So let's start. The first thing which I'll be making is the plazo. Uh, I'll be showing it on this piece of paper. Uh, so I'll be doing the same with the fabric. So first of all, fold it in half and then again make a four fold like shown in the pic uh, video. So uh, I have the very long fabric. So I'm folding it from this side so that this the rest of the side which will be used for another things. Okay, so that's how I'm making the fold. So this is what we call as four fold. I'll be doing the same with the fabric. Okay. So right now I have done the same. Uh, this is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So I made the 4 fold on the fabric also. So uh, now what I will be doing is I will be taking any like uh, I am taking a particular plazo of mine. So this is a pretty well fitted plazo. I will be placing it on top of the fabric and I will be tracing it accordingly. Uh, so right now I have placed it. Now what I will be doing is I will be uh, tracing the belt and the belt area will be the same. But the crotch as well as the bottom part will be extended because I want it to be super super loose as well as I want the gear. So firstly I am marking the crotch area and then I will extend it. So right now the marking is done. So this is how I am extending the crotch area. So it will be very very loose to me. So that is how the crotch area will look after extending. Then what we have to do is we want the gear as well. Okay, so I am joining this point till the end for the gear. Uh, from the above also, we will be uh, like leaving 2 or 3 inches for the belt. Uh, so this is how the bottom gear will look. Okay. So right now the marking is done. I am attaching billet pins so that the fabric doesn't move. And then I will be cutting as per the marking. You can also directly cut it, no issues for that. Okay. So once it cuts, that's how it looks and I'll be opening it from the middle and I'll be showing you. So I've got two parts here. The first is the front one and the second is the back one. Okay. So that's how it looks. Okay. So I'll be placing the back, for, uh, the back one first and then I'll be placing the front one on top of it. Right sides are facing each other. Now I have to stitch the crotch area as I've shown in the video. I've stitched the, from the crotch. And then I'll be holding it from the center and I'll be uh, like turning it to the right side to show you guys. So that's how it looks. Now I have to stitch it from this side so that the uh, legs are complete. And I also have to hem it from the bottom ones. Okay. Then once it's done, we have to attach the belt. For making the belt, we need a, like we need the same fabric and like it will be three inch wide and it will be a long fabric as per the waist size so i'll be keeping it like this and then i'll be stitching it uh, on one fourth inch okay from front as well as on the back so after stitching that's how it looks so i'll be folding it inside and then i'll be making a stitch again so that the belt gets completed as well as i'll also be leaving two to three inches from one side okay and i'm not going to complete it okay first i'll be adding the elastic so this opening is left for the elastic itself Always remember guys that the elastic should be 3 or 4 inches less than your waist size. Then I will be using a safety pin to insert the elastic inside the belt. And that's how a plaza will be ready. So now let's make this shrug. 
for making the shirt we have to use the same fabric and we have to make four fold again on this so that's how it looks this is one this one two three and four so this is four fold okay uh, the length which i want of the uh, shrug will be 43 inches plus i am taking one inch extra for folding so it's 44 inch long then i have to use any uh, old t-shirt or fitted t-shirt of mine and i'll be placing it upwards i want the shrug to be sleeveless so i'm inserting the sleeves inside so that i can trace the armhole so that's how i'm doing it yes and then i'll be tracing the armhole the shoulders as well as the waistline uh, so what i have to keep in mind that the shoulder and the armhole like the shoulder will be the same okay but for the armhole i will 1.4 uh, like it will be one fourth inch extra okay as well as for the waistline it will be half inch extra okay. so that will be uh, like it will be inside the stitching and the rest of the fabric you can use uh, the rest of the fabric for seam allowance or things like that but i am not using any seam allowance in this okay so i am marking 14 inch for the waistline okay because what i will be doing is the shrug will be fitted till my waistline and after that it will be having the gear okay so it's going to look very nice so that's how i am doing it okay i have done the marking till the waistline now i'm going to darken it and then i'm going to add gear okay so for gear what i will be doing is as i did for the plazo i'm uh, going to match this uh, end to that point okay so i'm joining both of them okay plus from the bottom what i'll be doing is i'll be giving it a curve round yes i want the shrug not to be a square but i want it a little curve at the end so i'm doing that it completely depends on your choice how you want your shrug to be you want you square you can do that but i'm using a round curve here okay so right now the marking is done so let's cut it After cutting that's how it will look so i'm having two pieces here the first is the front one and the second is the back one i'll be separating both of them and then i'll be marking the neck as per my choice so i'm separating it here this is the back side uh, so the neck width would be three inches as well as the uh, like the longness of the neck will also be three inches because this is the back neck so i don't want it to be very deep okay so that's how i'm marking it and then i'll be cutting like i'll be giving it a round shape and then i'll be getting it a cut the cutting is done and this is how the back part looks yes so the armhole and the neck everything is cut and the back side is ready so right now what we have to do is we have to cut the front neck 
so let's look at the color for the front what i'll be doing is the neck width will be the same so i'm marking it three inch as i did for the back side okay. yes so uh, like this is the standard measurement for uh, neck width it's around 2.5 or 3 as per your choice you can take it more accordingly whatever you wish okay and right now the longness of the neck so i want it uh, to be open from the front so uh, first i'll be marking on 10 inches from uh, i'll be marking a straight line okay then i'll be giving it a sweetheart kind of shape okay and uh, i forgot to tell you guys that i've given it a, a side uh, like a curve uh, for the waistline like we do in the kurti so that uh, the waist looks elongated and it gives a fitting like a proper fitting on the waist side so i'm matching the neck with the waistline so that i'll be attaching the dory and then waist will be enhanced okay you can do it as per your choice no issues with that so right now I've done the marking and then I'll be cutting it. Okay, so once the cutting is done, uh, open it from both the sides and that's how it looks. I'll be showing it from the zoom out side. Okay, so this is the back piece which is already ready and for the front we have two pieces as I told you. Okay, so that's how it looks and you can also give the shape to the back side also for the waist as I told you or else you want you can keep it straight. Uh, so right now what I'll be doing is I'll be completing the neckline as well as the armhole by hemming. You can also use piping as you want but I'll be hemming it. Okay, So that's how I'm going to fold it inside and I'm going to complete it. I'm going to do the same for the back neck also. Okay, So once the hemming does, that's how it looks. Okay, this is the back side. And this is the right side. So I'll be keeping the right side on top of the uh, um, back side. Right side facing each other. And then I'll be doing the fitting on sides. So that's how it will be looking. Okay. So the stitching is done and that's how it's looking. Okay. Now the uh, jacket, uh, the shrug is already ready. And only the dory thing is left. So right now let's make the dory for the shrug. So I'll teach you how to do that. For making the dory, you can use uh, this long strip of around half inch or so. Uh, sorry, yes, it will be half an inch. And you have to fold it first inside and then second side also inside. And then you have to overlap both of them. Okay, as I'm showing it in the video. And then you have to make a stitch on top of it so that it will be locked. And that's how both the dories will be ready. Like okay. right. as I have shown in the video. So this is how they look after they are ready. You can also attach tassel or any earring of yours on the bottom side of this but I'm not attaching anything. So I'll be using a needle as well as a thread to attach this story onto the jack, onto the shrug. Yes. Okay on the inside. And the shrug is done.